Ignite is an ongoing series of speedy presentations. Each speaker gets only five minutes and 20 slides that auto advance every 15 seconds. Okay, so uh, my job up here is to convince you that there is more than one you. Okay, and not only that, but there's a lot more than one you. Um, and the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to cover the type one parallel universe. And it turns out that there's actually more than one type of universe. And in fact, um, they've been categorized into four levels of universes. And each, there are levels because each level contains the other levels. So there's actually a lot more of you in these other levels. But we're going to go through the type one because it's the easiest to understand, but that makes it the most mind blowing. Um, so let's get some facts. Okay? So first of all, the speed of light is finite. Okay? And that has a lot of repercussions, relatively, and all that kind of stuff you've heard about. It goes about 700 million miles per hour. Uh, here's, some, here's some speeds that go across here. We need to know what a light year is, because I'm going to be talking about light years. So all you really know, need to know is that the distance light travels in one year. So it's about 6 trillion miles uh, an hour. It goes about 16, 6 trillion miles. Um, the Milky Way takes about 100,000 light years to get across it. Now, because of the speed of light, um, we can only observe light that had time to reach us since the Big Bang. So there's a, certain, there's a limit about how far and how far back we can actually see. And it turns out to be 13.5 billion light years that we can see away, because that's when the Big Bang happened. So when we look on this uh, through Hubble, through the ultra deep field, what we're actually seeing is we're seeing the edge of the universe, both in time and in space. Okay? So, and it, there's a boundary out there that we can see. right? And that is our visible universe. So our visible universe, it's a, it's a volume bounded by a sphere of radius 1.3 billion light years. Okay? And we're at the center of this thing. And that's, that is our visible universe. Um, I get a little time here. So, but, all right, Edwin Hubble taught us that the universe is expanding. And this has some ramifications. First of all, uh, when you leave here, the observable universe and the visible universe have different definitions. The observable universe is the stuff that we saw, but now, um, since the universe has expanded, since we saw it, it's now 96 billion years apart. Uh, the implications are, for an expanding universe, the further stuff away is, the faster it's moving away. I'll explain that in a minute. And there's a distance at which the speed of the, the the stuff is actually expanding away from us at the speed of light. We use a rubber band to understand. So if you put dots on a rubber band, you just break a rubber band in two, and you hold it up, and you put dots on it, okay? Um, and then you expand them apart, which, like we just did, you'll notice that the stuff that's out here went much further in the same amount of time than the thing did here. That means the velocity out here is much faster than the velocity in here, okay? And, and you know, because that's what velocity is. It's, it's distance over time. Um, and it turns out that at 13.8 billion light years away, stuff is moving away from us at the speed of light. So we're never going to see past that because it's going faster than the speed of light. So that gives us another sphere that we call the Hubble volume. And the Hubble volume is all the stuff that we will ever see. Okay, so 60 billion uh, years from now, we're only going to be able to look back and see what's in this bounded Hubble's volume. Um, now, according to quantum mechanics, there's a finite number of total states within any volume. That means there's a finite number of states within the Hubble volume. Okay, And this has some, some ramifications, as we will see. I get a little break. Oh, um, how many? How many of these states? Well, there's a lot. Um, the conservative estimate is that there's 10 to the 10 to the 118 number of states. <laughs> Okay, that's a lot of states, but it's still a finite number. Um, and there are, there's no reason to think there aren't more Hubble volumes outside of our Hubble volume. Okay? So if you go 27.6 billion light years away, there's another guy sitting there. He'll never see us. We'll never see him, but they're out there. And these things are packed together, a bit like a, a, one of these ball pits you see at Chuck E. Cheese. Okay? They're all stuck together, and, and they fill out the rest of the universe. Okay? And, and we'll notice that, see how there are these, these colors? Um, if you paint one of these colors, we, we know that if you only have so many ways to paint them, you're going to get a repeat. Okay? Since we only have so many states, and we, and we have more, and possibly more of these bubbles, we can actually measure the distance that we're going to find before we find another Hubble uh, bubble that's exactly like ours. Okay? 
but the actual universe is infinite. Okay? So we're not only going to find another place, another universe that's exactly like ours, we're going to find an infinite number of them. Okay? So what that means is, is there's an infinite number of you, there's an infinite number of places where this is happening right now because it's exactly like this place. Okay? So you got that going for you.